friends, welcome. Today instead of a woodworking uh, project, I'm going to show you an easy way to fix your iPhone, at least temporarily, uh, if you need to get your data off or if you have a problem with a, a grey bar appearing on, on the top of the screen and then uh, moving uh, towards the, the phone. No, of course now it doesn't want to do that. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and makes the phone unresponsive as you see the phone. <laughs> now it's responding. You got to be kidding me. See if you can get the grey bar back a little bit. No. It won't do it because now you're on camera. That's right. Let's see. Now it's totally responsive. <laughs> Let's see. Let's break the phone so we can fix it. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is funny. Huh? So you need to be on camera from now on, huh? Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> this is really almost annoying, actually, you know? That it's working now, yeah. Well, let's... I thought I saw something. Wrong with that. I did, I saw it flicker. But you did get a glimpse of it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So the reason that happened is actually the tactile sensor of the phone, the chip that processes that information because the phone has bent a little bit and I'm going to try to make it do it now and of course it doesn't want to do it because the, the phone has bent the chip moves away from the, the board and as a result you see this uh, line on top that becomes bigger and bigger it progressively worse in other words I cannot even make it to the stupid line. You fixed it. Hallelujah. I know I fixed it, but I wanted to show it <laughs> unfixed. You should have not fixed it so good, huh? Yeah. You got to be kidding. I mean, you've seen it, right? I, I mean, have. I have. I think this will have to be a redo. Okay. So this is how it starts. And as you see, now it does things by itself, and I don't... Yeah. And you see it gets bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can go over half the screen or the whole screen. And usually when this happens, the screen stops responding. Like now it has stopped responding. It just doesn't want to play well today, doesn't it? But in general when it does that, the screen stops responding and, you, and no, it does things like... Doing its own thing. Right, and you see the thing return. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it's almost in imperceptible, and it took me some time to notice yeah, it. But there then, there it goes. There it goes. It has taken us a lot of takes for this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, I don't remember. Did I say what the cause is? Go ahead, say it again. Uh, the cause is that the the chip that controls the the touch of the phone, the the touch screen, is uh, somewhere behind here. Or here, I try to remember where the battery is. I think the battery is here and the, the chip is here. But the solution to that is that you take the phone and you slightly bend it. The opposite way it will bend. Like if you had it in the pocket, instead of bending it towards the screen, you bend it away of the screen. And actually if it is the beginning and now of course it, it works correctly. And you notice that the, the thing disappeared. Mm -hmm. Now, because we were doing it on camera, it, it was behaving better than normal, right? But yeah. the last two or three days has been virtually unusable. Mm -hmm. Now, the other way you can do it, and when it was, it started doing the problem, is pressing it around this area, where is where the chip is, will also generate the same result. But as long as you don't see that uh, bar, what you will that gray yeah. bar, 
uh, the phone seems to, to work fine. It is responsive, it does everything you want it to do. So this is an easy and uh, totally free way to repair an iPhone that displays this brown, uh, not brown, what color was that bar? Gray. That gray bar. And the, the reality is that this will continue getting bigger and bigger. Now, you could, you're not even watching what you're doing. You're on camera. I'm aware. Okay. I'm not on camera, I hope. Your hands are on camera along with your phone. <clears throat> so, you can also open the phone and put a little piece of cardboard with some electric tape be behind the chip and that will achieve the same result. Because what's happening when you bend the, the, bow, the phone backwards is that you put pressure through the back of the phone on that chip and you reseat it correctly. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this short tip. And uh, if you did, please smash that like button. If you didn't, this, the nasty rumor that the other button works as well still persists. Please share, like, and comment. And we are going to see you soon, maybe with another woodworking tip or maybe with another project, I don't know yet. Uh, take care and happy holidays.